Hey there, and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. And I have a question for you. How comfortable do you feel using the telephone in English? And when you call potential clients, do you make a good impression? Even if you're not totally comfortable on the phone, if you want to pitch your offer to clients, you have to phone your clients at some point. And today, you'll learn how to make a good first impression when you call a potential client in English. Let's go. Before we look at any expressions, here's something to keep in mind. Your intonation and pronunciation are extremely important on the phone. We can't see you, so we hear your personality, your enthusiasm, and your positivity in your intonation. As we say, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, all during this episode, pay special attention to my intonation when I give you the key phrases. Even stop the video to repeat and practice your intonation. For this episode, we'll suppose that you're calling a new potential client with no appointment. In English, we call this cold calling. In the first 30 seconds of your call, your prospect should learn who you are, why you're calling, and what you do. Here's an example. Let's imagine I work in transport logistics and I want to talk with shipping companies. Here's what I say. Hi, my name's Christina Robofe. Remember your intonation. Hi, my name's Christina Robofe. Then pause a second to let them process what you said. Next, I'm calling from CRB Logistics. I'm calling from CRB Logistics. Again, a short pause to let the prospect process what you said. Then, say what you do. In one sentence, what we do is help companies ship products to South America more quickly and at lower prices. Is this a bad time for a quick chat? Let's repeat for the intonation. In one sentence, what we do is help companies ship products to South America more quickly and at lower prices. Is this a bad time for a quick chat? Notice that you didn't say, is this a good time for a quick chat? People have the reflex of responding, uh, no, sorry, I'm busy right now. But if we put a little extra stress on bad time, so people will more likely respond, um, no, this is okay, or something similar. If possible, find a little information about your potential client. This way, you show that you took the time to learn about them and choose to call them for a specific reason. You're not just calling a long list of random people, no. For example, you can say something like, I saw on your company website that you ship goods out of ports in Florida and Texas. I saw on your company website that you ship goods out of ports in Florida and Texas. If it's an individual, maybe you looked at their LinkedIn profile or their personal site, or maybe you read about them in a business magazine. 
But the important thing is to show that you've researched them a little. Next, ask a few questions to learn more about your prospect. If we continue from the introduction, this sounds like, I saw on your company website that you ship goods out of ports in Florida and Texas. Can you tell me more about your shipping process? Can you tell me more about your shipping process? Then let them speak. Listen and take notes. As you listen, use discourse markers to show that you're actively listening. In my course, Successful Small Talk, there's an entire lesson on discourse markers. Little words like, and sounds like, mm-hmm, got it, interesting, I see, etc., to show that you're following. If you just sit in silence as the client talks, they may think the line cut. So it's important to show that you're listening with your voice. And here are some other questions that you can ask. Again, listen and repeat this to work on your intonation. What is your current process for shipping to South America? What is your current process for shipping to South America? Who do you work with? Like, what types of clients or partners? Who do you work with? Like, what types of clients or partners? What challenges do you face when you ship goods? What challenges do you face when you ship goods? Of course, adapt the questions to your own activity and potential clients, but I don't have to tell you that. After you've asked questions, listened to their answers, and made notes, thank them for sharing the information. Then summarize what you understood, just to be sure. Thank them by saying, thanks for sharing all of that information. And for the intonation, thanks for sharing that information. Then start your summary with, if I understand correctly, if I understand correctly, and then you can summarize. And you can structure your summary as what their company does, how they currently do the activity you discussed, who they do it with, and the challenges they have. Try to keep each part just to maybe one or two sentences. The summary is just to show that you totally understand your prospect's situation before launching into your pitch. As for how to pitch in English, that'll be the subject of another episode. But now you have the exact steps and expressions you need to make a good impression when you cold call a potential client. Now, what about you? How do you feel before you have to call a potential client or partner in English? And how do the calls go in general? Let's continue this conversation in the comments. And if you want to immediately understand 12 everyday expressions that Americans say fast, get my American Accent Survival Kit, a free pronunciation and comprehension lesson with exercises. Just click the image below and of course subscribe to my channel so you get a new English lesson each week. Thanks for watching Speak English with Christina and I'll see you next time.